Let's create some lo-fi time stretching and pitch shifting effects with Sampler. <laughs> Bigly Studio Sampler Instrument is straightforward and easy to use, but it can create some cool effects thanks to its automation and modulation capabilities. Put Sampler on an instrument track, then drag Feel Good Vox onto its empty waveform display. You can adjust the start point of the sample by changing the sample start value knob below the waveform. Feel good now, don't it? Feel, feel good, I, I don't, don't, don't it. This isn't much use on its own. The yellow flag on the waveform is a much more accurate way to set where the sample plays from. But when modulated or automated, it can be used to achieve interesting results. Set the sample start knob to 0%, then double click on the instrument track to create a new clip. Double click the clip to bring up the grid editor and drag the grid resolution parameter at the bottom right hand corner of the window up to 1 over 32 ST. Put a 30 second note on the first beat of the bar by double clicking it, then use Ctrl D or Command D to duplicate it out for the entire bar. In the arrangement, duplicate the bar three times to give us a four bar sequence. Drag the right hand side of the loop region above it so it lasts for the whole four bars, then click the Show Automation Lanes button with the three horizontal bars on the instrument track. Double click the instrument tracks panel to bring up Sampler's interface again. Click the Sample Start knob to bring up its automation lane, then double click on the envelope at the start and end of the sequence to create breakpoints. Move the first to the bottom of the automation lane and the second to the top. Now on playback, you'll get a stuttered, old-school style time-stretching effect as each 30-second note plays a slightly later portion of the sample. Because the sample start parameter works as a percentage of the sample length, the sample is essentially warped to the four bars. For example, try turning the project tempo down to 90 BPM or up to 170 BPM. The vocal will always last for the 4 bar sequence. Reset the tempo to 110, then click the sampler's pitch knob. This causes the pitch parameter to become visible in the automation lane. Automate the pitch so that it drops from plus 12 semitones to minus 12 semitones over the course of the sequence. Because the sample is being re-triggered constantly, the change in pitch doesn't affect the timing of the sample. <laughs> We can get an unusual effect by modulating the pitch knob. Click the EG2 arrow, then drag up on the pitch knob to set the modulation range to plus 12 semitones. Click the EG2 arrow again, then set the envelopes attack and decay to 10 milliseconds and 20 milliseconds respectively. This causes the pitch to rise and fall with each 30 second note, creating a surreal fluttering effect. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.